So the third part of this uh, log revision lesson is on solving equations and although I'll start with something that looks quite simple and I, I know you could simply use your log button here to so say what do I want? I want log to the base 5 of 75 and log to the base 5 of 75 gives us 2.68. Uh, really I think you should learn how to do it properly um, properly because uh, I never had that button um, why should you use it? Um, we need to be able to take logs of both sides and just try log on both sides of these things. And this log could be an LO log one of these, it could be an LN, it could be any log that you like there. Um, but now use the power that the X comes down to the front so we get X log 5 equals the log of 75. Divide both sides now but x is equal to the log of 75 divided by the log of 5. Let's check that on our calculator again just to show it's the same. We've got the log of 75 divided by the log of 5 and it gives us the 2.68 that we got last time. So we could even do ln75 divided by ln5 if you've done core 3 and you'll see that of course that gives exactly the same answer again. Um, why do I make you try and do that? Because on this something question like this, you couldn't take log base 3 or log base 4, it would cause you lots of troubles. So just writing log in front of both of these helps us deal with this question. You now know your log rules is that the power comes down to the front and so we've got x plus 2 times by log 4 and we've got x times by log 3. Now this is a bracket that we can multiply out. So I'm going to write x lots of log 4 plus 2 log 4s equals x log 3s. Trying to find out what x is, so good old year 7 equations, trying to get x all on the same side, even though we've got horrible things here. It's this thing here is all on the wrong side. So let's take it off. And so we've got x log 3 take away x log 4. We now see that both of these things have x's in and so we can factorize it. x lots of log 3 minus log 4. And the last line would then be to get x all on its own is to divide both sides by this big thing, long thing here. And that's what x is. Uh, you can tap it in your calculator if you want to, or just leave it like that as an exact answer, both of which would be fine. So some practice of those here. This is a, an exercise. You can check all of these just by using your the, the new log button where you put in your own base. And then some more complicated ones in the second bit. Push pause if you want to try them because the answers are coming up now. There's the answers to the first section. And here's most of the answers to the second section, or the ones I've got around to doing. So we'll end this by looking at quadratics. And, and this is the sort of thing that we're expecting to get, something with some powers in. And the way of doing it is noticing the connection between these two parts of it. That actually, if you've got 3x and you square it, then the powers times together so you've got 3 to the power of 2x. You've got the same thing here. And so to try and help this out, what we're going to say is, well, let's call this thing y. Then this thing, is it y squared? And this quadratic has turned into a much more usual looking quadratic like that. Factorising it, you can use your calculator if you want to. Gives us two answers, y is 2 and y is 3. But what was y? Well, y, of course, was this bit here, 3 to the power of x. So if 3 to the power of x is 3, that one's easy to see. That one's just going to be 1. If 3 to the power of x is 2, then we've got to go through the process we just did before. We've got x log 3 equals log 2. And so x is log 2 divided by 3. Or you could, I suppose, just write it as log to the base 3 of 2 and tap that in and get your answer. There are a few more to try if you want them there.